Hi, I'm Paul Rowenson from AnglicanBeachParty.com and today I'd like to talk to you about some of the uh, reproductions of my paintings that are available in various stores through my website. This is a painting called Shadow 700, obviously of a motorcycle, which I did back in the early 1990s. And I was fortunate that I took, at that time, um, uh, color slides of this uh, painting so that now I'm able to use something called a Nikon Cool Scan slide scanner to make uh, high resolution photographs, maybe 20, 15, 20 megapixels. And then what is done is, this is actual um, oil on canvas, it's a small canvas, it's actual uh, canvas wrapped on a typical uh, stretcher, and the process is called G-clay, it's a French word, and it's, it's basically like having a printer, like an inkjet printer, only instead of ink it uses uh, oil paint. So this is actual oil paint on an actual canvas at a slightly smaller scale. This is about half the scale of the actual painting that I had done. Here's another one. Both of these are from redbubble.com, which is a very nice website. You can order uh, reproductions of most of my paintings there in various sizes. This is another one that's a canvas wrapped around, nice thick uh, stretcher on there. This is a little bit more recent um, painting of a figure competitor that I did. Okay, what I'd like to do next is compare for you um, an original painting I did. Now this is the actual painting I did of um, bodybuilder Vicki Nixon. And I don't know how the light is reflecting there, but this is the scale of it and kind of the, uh, the fineness of it in terms of, uh, I use very small brushes to, to uh, capture the details. That's how um, big and detailed the actual painting is. Put that over there. This. Uh, reproduction here is from a different website called deviantart.com that's also canvas the actual uh, G clay again it's oil on canvas and this one wraps around so what I'm going to do in the future is put a little white border on so we don't lose any of the uh, the actual painting but you can see that the detail is very nicely captured and uh, the scale is not quite as large but it's still um, still a nice size painting then again from Redbubble this one has a thicker stretcher on it, um, but again, it's Vicky. It's the same painting. This one is bound on the back, which is kind of nice. There's little pads ready for hanging. You can hang it this way, or you can get it framed. And again, the detail is, is pretty good because this is a high-resolution slide that was then scanned with the uh, Nikon Cool Scan uh, to produce these reproductions. Again, these are available from a couple of websites, redbubble.com and deviantart.com, and I'll, I'll, I'll post up the... Uh, the websites toward the end of this video. Okay, well now I talked to you about the actual oil on canvas reproductions, and those can be a little bit pricey if you want to spend a little bit less. Uh, some more reasonably priced uh, items are such as this uh, mounted print. This one is also from Redbubble. Um, this one is um, bodybuilder IFBB Pro Nancy Lewis. And I did this one again, like in early, nine, I think 1991, I did this painting. But I took good slides of it so I can get good re reproductions through the uh, slide scanner. And what that is, is it's a, it's a photograph, glossy photograph, just mounted on very nice foam core board. And you can hang it just the way it is. There's a little hanger provided. Even a little bit less costly than that are some posters that are available. And it's been a while since I unwrapped these. But this is one, you saw the... Uh, the Giclée painting of this one before, and I misspoke. I said she was a uh, figure competitor. She's actually a fitness competitor, and it's a uh, one and a half. But uh, that's Cynthia Bridges Satalowicz, and um, you can get these, I think, in, in glossy or matte. But that's the poster size, and again, it's the same painting, but you know, reproduced in the same level of detail, but at a uh, slightly larger size actually, but uh, less expensive. And this is one I did. This is actually the first oil painting I ever completed. Also back in 1991 or so. This was a um, woman who worked the desk at Gold's Gym in California where I worked. And um, again, I took good slides so I can still get a good reproduction at a poster size. So those are some of the products that are available um, from Redbubble and from uh, DeviantArt.com. Also available, which I don't have, to show you are things such as mouse pads, coffee mugs. There are puzzles, which I think are cool. 
Um, and I may order a puzzle of that motorcycle and try to put it together. Uh, but they have quite a few products, and so just to review, the two websites are DeviantArt.com and Redbubble.com. And you can always visit my uh, gallery at www.anglicanbeachparty.com.